fans for the mics, guys. Uh, just about the perfect celebration, wasn't it, Pep? For the championship. Uh, are your eyes now? You were saying on Friday the records aren't important, but you've moved a big, big step towards the points, the goals and the wins record. Mm. Is that important to you? Well, good afternoon. Uh, the important is the performance again. I think we we played at a quite similar level all the season. Uh, we cannot forget Swansea just since Carvajal, Carlos Carvajal is the manager, so just they dropped three 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 games and they lose three games. So it's not easy attack ten players so so deep defending. We did it so good without the ball, with the balls from the beginning. So the joy to watch our fans enjoying our our game. That is the reason why we're here. So we have two more games here with our people. We want to try to to play good. Of course, it's. After winning, football is never unfinished business. Always you have to something to improve, something to improve. We're working for this game, for, for the next season. We spoke about that. And that's why it's a, it's a good news we play. If, if, if the, the more wins or goals or whatever records, the players helps to be focused, this kind of thing help to be focused, it's good. So football have to play for something. Of course, to win the Premier League is already done. And now with these numbers, because the performance are the performance is the most important thing, but the numbers are the numbers, and the, these numbers can help the the players keep going and be focused. It's okay. We're going to do that. Okay, next question. Yeah. Pep, you, you said that you would you would learn about your players how they would react no. after success. Do you think you've you've learned anything today? Well, uh, always from my experience, after a win, always you drop, you know, the focus. But since the big, from the beginning, we saw they are there. Uh, Mikel Arteta told me after the warm up, so they made an amazing warm up, and that was the other first signal that they were there, because we spoke about that. So what we should do, we did it. So, but now it's good to finish in good feeling. You no, know? go to the summer time to prepare the next season in good mood. For our fans, a relation, you know, they can. Today, what happened? Now is two, three days off, prepare West Ham, and and after the last two games at home, Huddersfield and Brighton, and finish in good way, especially at home. And can we just have a word for the the fans coming on the pitch afterwards? Obviously, they're, they're well, jubilant because of what you've you've achieved this. Well, season. keep keep safe the grass. We need a good pitch for the for the future. But our fans, I. When today, were, from the beginning, they were there and singing, and, and they were close to us. Sometimes they are more cold, you know. But especially today with in Liverpool, when after one-one from Salah, the people react amazingly. The people react so close to the team, and that means a lot to us because they know we we are an honest team and a, and a, in terms of a humble team in the way how we go without the ball, how we press, how we try to. To be honest, when they play, and the people realize on that. That's why they are close. So in football, we cannot, you know, you cannot uh, hide what what we are. And uh, our fans saw all the season the performance like today, and that's why they are so happy. We are so happy for them. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, of course, when we play better, it's closer. It's easy now, you know. So they come here to see. Okay, guys, show me, show me today what uh, what is your performance and. As better the performance are, our fans closer they are. Pep, you're off to the PFA Awards tonight. Um, obviously, Kevin De Bruyne is up for the top award and a lot of the young players as well. Would it be a shame if, if Kevin didn't win the main award as a reflection of City's season? Do you think that what he's contributed would be enough to win the award? Well, I know my opinion about these awards. So, uh, if... Uh, if he doesn't win, congratulations, the guy is going to win. But from my point of view, when you are analyzing 10 mounts or 9 mounts, he was no player better than, that, than him. In terms of the continuity, in terms of uh, every three days, three days, and no competitions being there. I'm sorry. Maybe numbers, there are numbers, guys better than, than him, but no player in this season with the team who wants five games before, he was the best. But it's my opinion and the opinion for the players or the other ones can be another one. If that's happened, congratulations for the guy 
who's going to win. I would like to feel that he deserves it. But at the end, in summertime, we'll be at home being champion. And that is the players has to play. Pep, what's the, what's the latest on John Stones? Seems to be been He's injured, injured for a month. He's injured. Has a problems in the abduct in the abductors and something is not playing with the team. Is he is he going to play again this season? Do you think? It's getting better, so hopefully can can play the last the last games and hopefully can can reach and get the, the World Cup. But now in the last since came back from the national team again, so he's injured. Just on the, on the fans coming on the pitch, the FA are probably almost certain going to take action for that. Uh, no problem. It, but is, is that, from your perspective, is that slightly unfair given the celebratory nature of it? And it was a, a kind of a, you know, an outpouring of emotion from the fans and they're jubilant. The football is, uh, there is there was no a, violence or anything like that. Football is an emotional game. Uh, I understand you have to be careful and everything, but when they feel they want to share that, they are happy. So it's better stay where it has to stay, but uh, I'm not going to tell them don't do that. If they are happy, I like to be you know, close with the team. They show how happy they are. And that is the most beautiful thing we can, we can, we can live like a professionals, like a manager football player. So we, we felt that today, today the, the guys, the, the spectators here, the fans, they were so happy. And uh, just arriving from the CFA here in the bus, the people, how look at us and how you know celebrate and jam in, in the stadium from the beginning so i'm sorry that's good it's time to celebrate it so i'm not going to say anyone or else don't 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 enjoy it i'm not going to tell them pep just uh, on stones do you think he'll be absolutely fine for the world cup is that not i think that? it will be fine yeah yeah, yeah. Be fine. and um silver's goal today i think m means you've got six players who are in double figures for goals this season. I think they've got 103 between them, Sterling, Silva, Aguero, De Bruyne, Jesus and Sane. W what does that say? That, is the, that is the reason why when one team just depends on one or two players to score goals, you cannot achieve what we achieved. So it's important to be double figures in, in passes and in, in assists and goals. As much players as possible, we score more goals in set pieces this season than the, the year before. The year before. So it's important to, to, to get these numbers, you have to be a good state in all departments. In a, we are the first team in the scoring goals, we are the first team to concede uh, less, but the uh, chances we create, we are the first, chances we concede, we are the first. So in all the stats, we are good. That's why we, we won the league five games before. Pep, Pep, now you've won the title and are you know, threatening to break all these records. I, are you able to say, was there one key thing you changed in the summer? Or was it just, you know, you were here a year longer, you had more experience? Oh, I have to change something. I have to change something, yeah. But last summer, I mean, but last summer, in order to have this great performance this season, did you change? Was there a key thing you changed? One thing, maybe? Or? Yeah, that, but, but what was the reason why we changed it for, for the season? Ah, no, no, no. I think the players can, 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 can talk better than me about that but of course the the big investment of the club so at the end came came Ederson came uh, uh, Benjamin Mendy but Kai Walker came Bernardo Silva we we changed the locker room you know we had uh, the average almost 30 31 years old we have 11 or 12 players with more than 30 years and now our average is the 25 26 and the people come with new you know and and, and they came Beautiful, beautiful persons. So human beings, top, accepting our decisions. And after that, but the, the way we train, the way we try to play, it was completely the same. But of course, the quality of the players, that the huge effort. I never could say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you to the club, especially Haldun and Ferran, to, to make this investment, because it's impossible to play, for example, the way we play today without quality. So in the quality, you have to pay it, so it's impossible. So the big credit of that club is, of course, Sheikh Mansour and Khaldun buy the club and put this club in a better position. That is the first step. Without that, we would not be in that position. After that, uh, learn from the mistakes and, and go on and go on, and at the end, win the champion. Question in Spanish, please. <coughs> 
Hola, Pep, bona tarda. Uh, fiesta perfecta para celebrar la victoria al título de la Liga. Veure los fans celebrar el, uh, el título así que salten al camp. No sé si lo habías visto mai a la teva carrera, pero ¿quina imatge et deja para el record? No, em sabe cuando he recuperado a Barcelona alguna vez va pasar, como profesional no. Uh, bé, siempre tienes pateixes que pasa alguna cosa, no? pero la gente bueno, ha celebrado. No, no seré yo que diga que no se celebrin. Uh, a ver si pueden controlar y pueden achacar el día de Huddersfield la Copa en tranquilidad. So it's been a, a perfect celebration for, for the team. Uh, see the fans jumping on the, on the pitch after the game. What does it say to you? Uh, what image do you keep from that? Or has ever happened to you before in, in your career? Well, I think when I was a ball boy back in Barcelona, it happened some time. But then as a professional, I don't remember the fans uh, jumping on the, on the pitch. You always suffer a little bit about the, the, if something goes wrong, but uh, it was great. So hopefully looking forward to, to the game against Huddersfield when you can, we can leave the, the trophy. And, and we have a good celebration. Okay. Cheers, guys. Okay, thank you.